it's hard to find this kill button if your bike falls down into the snow, your handlebar is buried down there, and you're trying to find a kill switch and it's difficult to do. If it falls down the other way, that's fine, but still I find it kind of hard to get in there, push this little button, especially with gloves on, it's just hard finding that kill switch. So I want to put a tether on the bike. There's a, a few reason, few other reasons why I want to do that. One is it's hard to get to the kill switch, add a tether to it, um, so you have access to the other side also in case it falls down on this side. Also, I've been in situations where even in the dirt you fall and your throttle gets pinned open, and you can do that in the snow too. The snow falls over on one side, you can't get to the throttle to let it off, and it's uh, wide open spinning. And so there's a couple reasons that's really dangerous. One, um, if your bike doesn't stall, you got the throttle wide open, and you have a dangerous, dangerous track spinning out of control. You need that machine to be off. Um, that's important uh, with the snowmobile. That's why snowmobiles have kill switches. I've run into uh, more than one situation, or I've heard people that had problems. They were either pinned under the machine, or um, they were just in a situation where a track was spinning by their by their head and they didn't have control over it or by their foot and I even had a situation where I was trying to get unstuck once some guys were helping one was pulling the ski I was back here burping it throttling it out um, and the bike kind of took off and I lost the handlebars and someone was pulling there and my throttle stayed open so I not only had the track spinning by my foot which was really dangerous but also I ran over the, my buddy that was helping pull me out so having that tether in that situation would easily allow for everything to turn off uh, when I'm out of control of the bike um, I mean there were some other issues too with that I had a my throttle mechanism I needed to um, I need to ream it out a little bit more so it backed off. In that case, it was kind of a sticky throttle. Um, so that was a mistake on my end, but if I would have had a tether on, that could have solved that problem right away. So I fixed my throttle uh, from that situation, but still you're gonna be in spots where you want, if you're off the bike, you want the bike to turn off. Um, and that's those are the two main reasons for safety there. Uh, also, if your bike flips upside down and is sitting under um, you know, sitting upside down, throttle pin in the snow. Um, even if throttles, uh, even if it's not a snow bike and your bike's upside down, I'm told that these four strokes um, are going to just completely destroy your engine if you're upside down with the oil dripping up. Um, and uh, you want that bike off. These do have a tip over sensor. I don't, really don't want to rely on that to turn it off plus I've seen a lot of times that the bike just flipped on its side and running and that's probably not good for the oil too so um, I don't even want a chance that I've heard that's really bad news if your bike's upside down and running it's just a matter of seconds and you might destroy your engine completely okay these are the parts I'm going to work with here I've got um, an aftermarket kill switch I don't recommend getting the aftermarket switch I would give you a link in the description I got this off eBay um, I recommend just finding a pull off from another machine because I had to dremel this a lot even though it's the same connector there to the stock 18 YZ 450F um, Yamaha dirt bike um, the, this is the same but the rest was not so I dremel all this stuff down and then I plugged it in tested it and it does work uh, but I think in retrospect I'll either add um, a stock kill switch because that was a fail so uh, I would show you who made that but I don't want to because I don't want to lead you down that path but anyway if you get a stock kill switch I wanted to use a different one from the manufacturer or the one that came with the bike because um, because if I bung things up I still want to be running tomorrow and so I want to keep that one working switch in good order so I'm plus, plus I want to be able to rig this up and pull it off for the summer and then put the whole setup back on so I wanted a separate kill switch so this is the kill switch 
regular one. The Yamaha uses a normally open uh, switch. Other bikes use normally closed, so you got to make sure you know which one it's normally open or normally closed. So this is normally open. I tested it. It works. It killed the bike. Um, and then what I'm going to do is got some of these connectors right here. These things open up and they can tee into this. I am going to tee into this line and add my magnetic kill switch. So I tether it and fly off the bike, pull off the magnetic. Uh, trials riders use these. Uh, there's also some that are more of just a stick-on kind, but I think this magnetic one is going to be the better bet. Okay, I'm just dripping the wires here. And one of the wires on the kill switch had a white strip on it, so I'm going to gamble that that is not the ground wire. So these switches here. Okay, I guess rule number one was take off your gloves. It's amazing the human body how much you can feel things. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that looks like a good... set up there. Hopefully I don't have to redo this. Alright, maybe I need to use a tool. Feeling this is going to crack it. Nope. That did it. Okay, so I guess you do need to use a tool unless you've got gorilla hands. Okay, so this other one, I should be able to just clamp in there and we'll see if my 50-50 method gets the job done. Okay, what I did there is got needle nose, put them right on, squeeze. It's a really tight squeeze to get this to clamp down, at least with this wire size. But that is it. And now, looks like a pretty secure fit. Um, now I'm going to test fire it. Okay, I either 50-50 failed or it's not going to work this way. Okay, so I got it all installed. My 50-50 odds were a fail, so good thing I wasn't blackjack betting today. Uh, so I ended up having to swap the wires around, so then I... Um, so that's all there was to it. There's a little delay on the pole. I'm going to test it right here um, and show you guys, but... So what I did is I electrical taped all around it, the connection, zip tied that up just to make sure it doesn't come out, um, wired that up behind the number plate, got the new switch there, and the tether on the opposite side. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm not sure exactly, but at times I might run with it like that so it gives you something um, or maybe up like that. I, I uh, upgraded the carabiner. So if I'm not tethering it to myself, at least it gives me an extra something I can just grab onto, pull off of there if there's a problem. So when I'm on the bike, I'll probably 
if I'm in a really situ bad situation, I really need it, probably either tether it to, like a snowmobile would, tether it to some loop on your jacket or your bibs, have it like that, and then if I go off, it's going to yank that off, turn it off, um, in theory. Or the other method I'll do is just reclip this on, and a lot of guys seem to run to something around their arm like that. And this will be nice on throttle side since you don't usually have, to, usually don't take your hand off on the throttle side. That's why it's over here, and I can run it, and then if I fly off, it'll come off like that. Or um, might just run it looped over to that lever since I don't use the clutch with the recluse much. Um, so that gives me something I can yank on, but then again, a stick could pull that out and you don't want to end up stopping and tipping over into a tree well, so I think it'll be a little safer over here on this side. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And I got a stop switch on this side and this, and then I can always take it off and go with me. It's a little extra security too, can't start the bike with this off. Um, and pop it back on and you can ride. So we'll, we'll see exactly how it all works, but anyway, that's how I'm going with it for now. Okay, it's time for some testing. Let's test on the bike. So we got that on, start it up. Okay, engine stop switch. The old fashioned way worked. Now let's try the tether. Look at that. Now let's test if it starts without that on there. Nothing. Put that on. Magic. Oh, I'm so happy about this. I'm gonna feel a lot safer doing it this way. Got the tether on it. I really like this magnetic as opposed to those ones you just kind of plunger on there. I hate the feel of those. I had those on a skidoo before. But let me test it one more time and call it good. Got myself a tether. Sweet. Uh, uh, uh. This ain't the way it's supposed to be. This ain't the way it's supposed to be.